Hello folks, welcome back to a long-awaited movie review. Um, yeah, I just got done watching a horrible piece of crap, lost footage, zombie apocalypse film, and yeah, I wasted my time watching this crap. Um, basically it is, it's called By Day's End. 2020 film and pretty much it's a uh, film about look uh, two women pretty much a couple uh, gay cu couple they're having problems in the relationship uh, Carly and Rena whose relationship turn, takes a turn for the worst after Carly decides to drop out of med school. And so they have an issue with that. And then find out the Rena girl at the beginning, she has like a, she's sort of anorexic, so she, well not even sort of, she is. So that uh, ruins some of their relationship. And uh, pretty much, I, I don't even know why, I can't remember why, really, I wasn't really paying attention to why Carly, the uh, med school girl, I, I don't get why she was filming everything at the end of the day. I mean, I guess the document stuff that was happening, but at the same time, like, but anyway, but yeah, you have these two characters, and then you, they're staying at this hotel. And you meet, like, this other guy who sort of reminded me of, like, a Le well, I don't even want to say Leon, because he's nowhere near Leon status, but, or skills, but, he seemed, like, more level-headed than the others, but then he does some dumb stuff throughout, throughout the movie that I'll get to. Um, but yeah, in the movie, basically, it's a low-budget horror flick, and lost footage as well. Granite cheap and all, but pretty much the whole movie is just them staying in this one hotel room, or they go to another hotel room in the same lot because oh uh, the gate won't open, and so we end up going to a different room, and then people get infected, and really it seemed like a ghost hotel because like nobody, it seems like I guess maybe there wasn't that many uh, people were. Uh, living in, or not living, but staying in the rooms anyway, but even the people at the beginning, like, it was just, like, two people there, and then a receptionist, and then that one guy, and then the one guy was sitting in the outside, and then there's an old lady that comes up later on, she turns into a zombie, and then she takes the camera, so you sort of see, like, a zombie point of view, so like how they did in VHS 2, except I would say it was probably done better in VHS 2. I'm not a big fan of those movies, but I'll give them credit when it's due. Um, but yeah, this movie, uh, the acting was okay, not great. Again, characters do dumb decisions were too, like the the uh, Carly girl, She she's like a I want to help everyone type and uh, I know I can do it, but then when it comes down to it, oh, I can't do it, and then even her girlfriend, like Re Re Rena, she has more, uh, you know, she can, do, she actually tries to take action and do, like, the right stuff, but then, of course, Carly has to stop her, because, yeah, and then we have the, uh, I forget the guy's name, but their friend, who, shoots a few zombies, and then, it, it's sort of confusing, because there's, I mean, there's zombies, but there's, like, one of them was able to open a door, I don't know if maybe they were smart, they're sort of slowly turning smart to, or, or aware, but then they're filled up with hunger or whatever, so then they're just blindly raging, so, but yeah, they, they shoot, they shoot the one guy, and then, they meet the Carly woman. She meets this Mexican couple, and the woman's telling her about 
her husband's fever and he's being stupid not wanting to go to the hospital so then she leaves them and then later on you find out oh he uh, he bit his wife and then they let her in the hotel and then that's when they meet with the uh, the friend guy and then um, he goes off I forget why I don't know why you all don't just stay in one room but and then uh, but the wife of the dead guy of the zombie man she turns and then um, but it doesn't take long for it takes like a few I guess a few hours for a person to turn but at first they think she's dead or some are in coma because then they just let her like the next scene is of when she's convulsing or whatever she's passed out and then she falls to the no she falls to the ground or to the floor and then and then the next scene is just those uh, Rena and Carly just sitting on the bed or just nonchalant going through a box trying to figure out what to do and the, the woman who's infected is laying right next to the bed right where they're at I'm like wow fine you don't want to kill her fine how about you drag her like you did her husband outside and lock the door but no we're gonna leave her on the floor right where she can get up easy and try to attack us but, but yeah you have dumb stuff like that and then eventually they kill her because well not even say I should say Rena kills her because she eventually she well she cuts her neck and then she wakes up and then blood squirts in her face so then she's infected so I guess if it enters your face or your eyes or your mouth then you're done for or bitten so then she slowly turns and then it's Carly and the other guy who has a gun who survived this whole time and then he does he dies doing a stupid thing where he oh uh Carly knows sorry he knows or she <laughs> he she knows that um this virus thing changes people in a few hours so uh but yeah she nonchalant I'm gonna carry Rena around even though on my shoulder even though she can turn any minutes there was one I will give the movie one interesting spot that I thought was kind of interesting where it there's a scene where Carly goes out to room for a minute and she gets attacked by like one of the zombies and at first you think when Raina shows up you think she's infected because then she's walking really slow zombie like but then she grabs right when the bad zombie's about to attack Carly then Raina comes out and kills that zombie even though she was kind of in a zombie mood or mode so I kind of sort of like that part where oh wait so they they're self-conscious a little bit or you can hold the urges at bay a little bit, but not for long. I I don't know. It seemed that was sort of interesting. I wish they would. They I thought they would have played on that a little bit more, such as oh maybe they can uh, sort of be reached in that messed up uh, you know psyche. But other than that, like the rest of the movie is uh, the. The friend guy, the gunman guy, he gets killed because he stupidly. They're all this there's these because they're walking, they're trying to get to the car or whatever or to another room, and they see a dead body of another zombie. But then it turns out that zombie was just playing possum, I guess, because he ends up going like near it, and lets the thing bite him on the arm somehow. So then his arm is bitten, and then. Then the uh, Carly girl kills that zombie, and then they run, they retreat in a room, and then she decides, I know what to do, I think it might work, and she cuts his, she literally cuts his hand off, or his arm off, thinking, it, it's gotta be where you're bitten, so it won't spread all the way, so if I cut that 
part, that bitten part off, then you can't turn. But then, I guess he dies, because then she covers, she claims, like, after that scene, she claims that, like, he's all alive, but then she covers him up, so then I'm like, wait, is he, so he died? I'm assuming, even though she said it in a, in a vlog or document or thing, because she's filming herself, and she talks to a camera saying, I, uh, stopped the bleeding or whatever from, or him from bleeding out or whatever, so he's stable or whatever, I think, but then she covers him up, so then I'm like, wait, either he's asleep maybe, or he's just dead, so, okay, but then you have Rena in the chair, and she's in, you know, knock, she's like, incapacitated, she's about to turn, and then Carly, pretty much at the end, let me just say it, she di everybody dies, pretty much, which is stupid, because then Rena pretty much turns z zombie, it was sort of, it was sort of nice how they, she was sort of holding this, the uh, infection back a little bit, which I thought was kind of interesting as well. So there's, the, the two little things in this movie was interesting, but everything else was stupid. By the characters. Default by the character choices. Yeah, I can already hear people comment, what do you expect, it's a horror, it's a low budget zombie? But, yeah, but Resident Evil, they didn't really do dumb stuff, at least I don't think they did. There's other lost footage films where they don't do dumb stuff. Pretty sure. Yeah, this movie sucked. Uh, again, the acting was fine. Um, the old, the old ending of oh, I'm gonna kill myself along with her, even though I promised to kill her and that was it, and then live on. But okay, so they do that dumb ending. I get what it was trying to do, but at the same time, I'm tired of seeing endings like that where everybody either dies. Or are possessed. If anything, you should just let her like eat you up. Not that good. Yeah, this movie is stupid. It gets a 2.9 on IMDb. I think that's too high. It should get a a 1.0 or 0 0.1. That's what it should get. It's directed by Michael Sounder, Sounder, Souter, whatever. It's co-written by him as well, as long as, along with Justin, Kyle, and Chin. This movie. Again, I don't hate the movie, but at the same time, it's just frustrating. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a like. Comment, subscribe. Uh, again, uh, my media is down below. If you want to follow uh, my Instagram? Uh, I have. If you want to pay me uh, via PayPal? Do you have any requests for me? Of movies or commentaries? Uh, PayPal is right below. But uh, yeah, peace and love. Bye.